What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first few minutes, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you how to share a file without breaking permissions. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Okay, you know how we do it here. Let's get that timer rolling. Let's get into it. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the file that you want to share and you're going to bop on over into the details pane for that file. You're going to scrolly scroll scroll to the very bottom and you're going to copy this direct link. Just click there. Boom. You copied it, paste it wherever you want. It's a absolute URL to the file. It does not break permissions, but wait, there's more. You can also click this happy little share button, change this dialogue here to say people with existing access apply, and then you can have outlooks in the email or you can copy that link. Boom, no permissions are broken. Woo. All right, so now let's slow it down and talk about what's going on behind the scenes and why this is important. Before we do that though, I want to give a quick shout out to all of the followers, everyone who's been watching, who's watching now, liking and subscribing. If you haven't had a chance to do that, go ahead and do that now. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new videos are available. All right, let's break it down. So we're going to go back here and let's just talk a little bit about what happens when you share a file in a document library. So basically it's like this. Uh, generally speaking, permissions get inherited. So when you build a new site, you have your owners, members, and visitors, and you plot people in there. And so, you know, most people are going to have membership access where they can see everything that's going on. They can edit files. They can add files, delete files, etc., etc. Now, that's all well and good, but let's say you need to grant access to someone or share this file with someone who doesn't already have access. Well, you can do that, and if you go into the uh, share dialog and you share it with everyone in the company or specific people, like people you choose, either one of those options is going to break the permissions for that file. That means, so at the library level, there's a certain set of permissions, and typically that gets inherited to all the files that live in here. However, if you share and you don't choose the option that says people with existing access or go to the details pane and grab that absolute URL. If you do anything other than that, you're going to create a situation where the file that you're sharing will grant access to those other people, but it's going to break permissions for this file so that if you make adjustments to the permission level of the doc library in which this file lives, the people that you shared the file with who didn't have previous access are going to maintain access regardless of what you do to your permissions at the document library level or even site level. So that's why it's important to, if you can, use something that's not going to break the permissions. And so in quick review, here's how you can share a file without breaking the permissions. There's two ways. So we first way is we go in here, we select the file, we go into a details pane. I love this thing, by the way, and you're going to scrolly scroll, scroll, and you're going to find this path. And this is an absolute URL that points right to this file and it doesn't change permissions at all. So if you send this to someone and they don't have access to the file, then they're gonna get access denied. Uh, and then the other option is hitting the share button and then you can go ahead and change this uh, to people with existing access and then click apply. And this will not break your permissions. All right, there you go. I hope this has been helpful. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got and SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.